Hi coaches, it's Whitney from Get The Pancake. I know I haven't been making a lot of videos. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of coaching recently and I've also been just pretty busy with life, but uh, I'm starting a new program here with the local rec center and I'm really excited. It feels so good to start coaching again. Actually, today is my first day going back and running classes with them and I am super prepared with uh, my plan for the day. I just wanted to talk about some of the resources that I use from Get the Pancake. I don't have them there just because I everything that I sell or have as a free download is there because I use it. Something that I'm thinking about adding, I do have a free practice plan template that I have on getthepancake.com, but I'm thinking about making something a little more official that kind of auto-populates the times and maybe helps you track what you've worked on throughout the season. So if that's something that you're interested in, let me know um, through the comments or send me a message. But that's something that I'd like to work on in the future. For now, I just want to talk about what I'm going to be using today. So again, I have the plan. Um, our classes are only an hour and that seems like absolutely zero time. So if you are uh, maybe coaching a rec team or you have shorter practices. I'm hoping that that will inspire me to come up with some more one hour things for you guys. But something else that I'm going to be using today and through this program is my attendance tracker. This is, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, but it is for free if you want to just go and download it. It's in the closed Facebook group. It's called Volleyball Coaches Corner. Either search for that or search for Get the Pancake on Facebook and then request to join our group. It is closed, so you won't be able to see it right away. You'll have to wait for approval. But if you go into the files of the group, the attendance tracker is in there along with some other goodies. And I'm just going to be using this for short programs. The names of the players are gonna be changing, so it's just on regular copy paper. But if I was using this for maybe a club team or a school team, I would probably print it on cardstock just so it's a little more durable um, and doesn't get completely <laughs> trashed during my season. Something I just recently posted something about things that you need as a volleyball coach. And one of the things that confused people a lot was a three hole punch. And I get it. That's not really like uh, doesn't come to mind <laughs> for coaching volleyball. But this is what I'm talking about. I love this thing. It honestly, it can't be more than like three dollars. It's probably less than that. But I just go to Walmart or Amazon. But I really like it because it has um, these little holes that will it goes into your binder. And then when you have things like your attendance tracker and other things that we're going to talk about, you just give it a nice little hole punch. And then it doesn't spill out of your binder when you're rushing from court to court or when you pull your binder out of your backpack. Clearly that has happened to me before and so that's why I recommend getting a hole punch just to keep your binder a little bit more tidy. The last thing that I'm going to be using today that I wanted to tell you about is it's a printable in my shop. It's called My Volleyball Drill Collection. And no, it's not a collection of volleyball drills that I'm selling to you. It is a blank template. So you get two download pages. Um, one is a court diagram along with a key at the bottom. And then the other one is just some basic information that you'll write down. So this is for coaches who like to create their own drill or you don't even have to be the creative type. Maybe you found a drill online and you just wanna make sure that you remember it. So this is a good place, again, whoop, again, use the three hole punch, put this in your binder, and then by the end of your season, I'm sure you'll have like 20, 30 drills or something in there. But the reason that I have this isn't necessarily so that I can fill up my binder with drill options. It's so that when I run a drill, I can go back and evaluate it later. So actually on this, page you'll see at the bottom so you have like what skills you're working on equipment needed yada yada then you do like an, a drill rating so maybe maybe you ran this awesome drill and you want to give it five stars so you know to come back to it later or you created a drill and it totally stunk and you don't ever want to run it again just fill in the rating um and that way you kind of remember like oh yeah 
that doesn't work. Or if you had to make some adjustments, like maybe you were supposed to down ball the ball into the drill, but your team wasn't able to handle that. So you switched to tossing instead or some other adjustment that you had to make. And then you can also keep track of the dates that you used the drill. So you know that you're not overusing your drills, but you don't want to forget about them either. This is really valuable for me when I get to the end of the season. I'm like, what was that drill that we ran? It was in January and I think there was like some passing. I don't know, the girls really liked it and then no one knows what you're talking about. And so you can just go through your binder, find your volleyball drill collection and that's what it's for. So I'm going to be using that today because I created a drill on my practice plan and I'm interested to see how it works out because this group that I'm working with, previously I was living in Dallas, Texas, which is a huge volleyball area. Girls and boys start volleyball in first grade out there. And here I don't think it is as popular. And so I'm running a beginner class with fifth and sixth grade. And this might be the first time that they've ever touched a volleyball. So I'm trying to keep track of how well the drills work with this specific group. And like I said, we only have an hour, so I'm kind of trying to put the best of all the drills that I know into one progression drill that I've created, just so that by the end of the hour, we can actually get a rally going. That's my hope for today. And I know I was just talking mostly about papers, but a whistle is so important. <laughs> and uh, I was really happy it took me a long time to find this. Like I said, I haven't been coaching very much recently. So this was in a shoebox in a backpack in my closet. And I'm so happy that I found it because I love this whistle. It's a Fox 40 whistle. Honestly, the difference between a dollar whistle and I think this is like maybe four or five dollars, maybe even eight dollars, not positive, but the difference is huge. This is loud every time, if I have to be refing, every time I blow on it, it sounds like I mean business. It's not one of those, oh, maybe I meant to blow up, maybe I didn't. If you haven't experienced that yet, you probably will if you have one of those dollar whistles, which those are fine, have as a backup in case some of your players need a whistle and they forget about it, but for myself, I love this one and it's purple, so that's nice too. This is a little coaching hack. Even if you don't use your whistle, for whatever reason, I feel like you get more respect as a coach or you're easier to identify as a coach if you're wearing your whistle, especially if you look like a child. Sometimes I get confused with um, my older teams. So if you are frequently confused for a player, put a whistle on that will help parents come and identify you. All right. Thanks for, uh, this is just a little check-in video, starting to coach more. So I'm hoping to have more videos for you here shortly. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.